Good day. Today we're going to learn how to install JASP. And JASP is a substitute for SPSS if you don't have that. So you simply type in JASP in your favorite browser. And then you're going to see this one. This is JASP. So you just click this one. You'll be redirected to jaspstats.org. And then you simply click download JASP. And then you choose your OS. So in my case, it's Windows. So you simply click that one. Then you wait. So it's downloading here. So it will depend on how fast your internet connection is. Uh, afterward, you simply click show in folder or open. So just case, it's show in folder. Then you double click, then you read the agreement, and then you click I accept, and then you click install. Then you wait for it to finish installing. You have to allow this app to make changes to your device, so you click yes. Or this is my second tutorial on. A different software aside from SPSS to run, to run statistical tests. So the first one is PSTP, which we use in our classes in the university. And this one is, it was introduced by a professor in professor in one of the lectures that I attended. And so I'm trying, I'll test it out on, or it is, if it is easier to use rather, since we've already established it. It's a substitute for PS, SPSS. So it will also... Uh, Substitute for PSPP. So you simply click finish and then since you want to check it out again, you just simply keep this checked and then click finish. So this is now Jasp. So it says welcome to Jasp. And these are the settings. So your prefer preferences. Okay, so if you have GitHub and interface. So it's English and you can change the font here. Then the results. So table option, display exactly values, use exponent notation, fix the number of decimals. So this uh, the ice cream. So image background is white. Then for data. Okay. Okay. So that one. It's checking because there was a setting last time how to make sure that it's in APA format or rather if this is the table we sort later will also be in APA format. Okay, so that's how you install JASP. And these are the available tests. So we have descriptives, t-test, ANOVA, mixed models, regression frequencies, and factor. And so we'll try to show some of these because I'll be only replicating the PSPP tutorial. And that's it for the installation. Then the next one is how to update JASP since they update frequently. So that's the next part of the video. To update JASP, you simply go to your apps and you type in JASP in case since I usually use it. Uh, I recently used it, so it's in my recent. Or you can just type here JASP and it will suggest. Click on open. So this is now the JASP application for Windows and to update you simply click to get the latest version and it will redirect you to the to the download page. You simply click your your OS. So in my case it's Windows so you just click on the Windows easy for a bit and then you wait for it to finish downloading. And then to install then you just follow the Installation process so to update your JASP. 